It was 1967. The Tennessee Valley Authority had developed plans to build a dam across the mouth of the Little Tennessee River. But the land surrounding Bonor, Tennessee was special. It had been home to the overhill towns of the Cherokee Nation, and the area was filled with precious archaeological treasures. Building the dam would flood over 16,000 acres of land. A massive effort would be needed to gather and preserve these historic artifacts before the area was flooded. Archaeologists from TVA and the state of Tennessee would begin a 12-year excavation that uncovered hundreds of thousands of ancient Cherokee relics. This effort became known as the Teleco Reservoir Project. The material that we recovered during the Teleco Project was enormous. It spanned the entire uh, occupation by Native peoples uh, in this area. That is, say, from around 15,000 years ago all the way up to historic times. All of the material excavated uh, during the Teleco project reside here at the, at the McClung Museum. We also house uh, the material excavated prior to the inundation of the TVA reservoir starting in 1934. And so it's a very, very important research collection and we house some of the finest examples of Native American prehistoric art in the world. During the French and Indian War, the overhill town of Choto was the hub of Cherokee political activity. During the 1969 excavation of the Chota townhouse, archaeologists discovered the grave of the great warrior, Akana Stota. The remains have been reinterred at the site of Chota, directly above where the grave was found because the Tennessee Valley Authority brought in fill uh, to create a causeway out above uh, the location of the Chota townhouse and then placed uh, concrete pillars where the central support posts were. That is where Aconistota was reinterred. Aconistota played a pivotal role in the demise of Fort Loudoun, a British outpost built in the Overhill area during the French and Indian War. The Fort Loudoun historic site would not be forgotten during the Teleco Reservoir project. There had been several limited excavations at the fort beginning in 1936. But in 1975, a year-long dig undertaken by the Tennessee Division of Archaeology would rescue Fort Loudoun's secrets from a watery grave. With funding from TVA, Dr. Carl Cutreff and his staff of over 40 archaeologists hand excavated the 8,000 square meters within the fort. Outside the fort, the Cherokee town of Tuskegee would also be searched for fragments of history. The artifacts were pretty standard for that time period. We found a lot of debris that you get from blacksmithing, a very small amount of uh, English ceramics, gun parts, a small number of artifacts associated with uh, their uniforms. In addition to the excavation, Dr. Cutreff also worked on the development of the Fort Loudoun Visitor Center. Because funds were limited, the team decided to build a small model of the fort. One of the things we'd come up with is the idea of, well, we need to put a model in here based on some of the artist reconstructions we had, plus our archaeological evidence, so that people might get an idea of what the fort looked like with all the buildings in it. But over a 20-year period, a full-scale reconstruction of the fort would eventually arise with Dr. Cutra's assistance. A combined effort by Fort Loudoun staff, the Fort Loudoun Association, TVA, the state of Tennessee, and loyal volunteers brought the fort back to life. The recreated fort would be built 18 feet above the original site to raise it above the lake's waters. We don't have the information to provide an exact replica but it is built on the basis of 18th century building techniques. This life-size replica has become the centerpiece of the Fort Loudoun historic area, which has hosted hundreds of thousands of visitors from around the world. Monthly historic living interpretations at the reconstructed fort help to keep the memory of the Fort Loudoun garrison alive. 
it's just good to see this. Um, I hope the visitors that do come to this place get some kind of appreciation for what it was and some sense of history of this place. But it's really impressive to see that it's risen again from the ground. Through the efforts of the Teleco Reservoir Project team, the history of this area has been saved. Today, visitors at the McClung Museum of Natural History and Culture and Fort Loudoun can view these archaeological treasures. A glimpse into our past, preserved for our future.